Hi everyone, so it's time for another 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe video and this time around it's the spring edition, which I know isn't here just yet, but I feel like it's just around the corner, we're like taking a little peek and I really love a spring colour palette. Very clean, very fresh, very minimal, um, so that is what I'm going to share with you today. And I'm going to take 10 items from a capsule wardrobe and turn them into 10 outfits. If you've missed the whole premise, like you've got no idea what I'm going on about, I'll link a video up there in the corner which was the first one that I ever did which explained the whole experiment a little bit better, but it is so easy to do. 10 items, 10 outfits, there you go. Simples. Now each time I do one of these, the breakdown is slightly different in terms of how many shirts compared to how many pairs of jeans and how many dresses. Um, so I will talk you through the items now and then share with you at the end of the video the 10 outfits I've created with them. One thing that I don't include in my 10 by 10 master list, I guess that is the way of describing it, are like bags, accessories, jewellery, if you needed a pair of tights or something like that. I don't include sort of added extras in the list of the 10 major products. So there are a couple of things I will be using to jazz things up in terms of like necklaces and earrings and jewelry, that sort of thing. And then also these two bags. They're both from Loewe. This one is the Barcelona style. I got it from Vestier Collective. It's secondhand and it's stunning. It's a leopard print number and I just absolutely adore it. And obviously you can see the color palette that we've got here is kind of neutral. So this just adds a point of interest, which I love. And then this is the lower bay puzzle bag. This is the small size. It's easily my most worn bag ever, 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 ever. The most expensive bag I own, um, but also my most worn. So I will be wearing these two bags to make things look a little bit different and obviously different jewels and stuff as we go. But let's start with the first item. And the first item is a jacket. Um, I've actually only included one coat in this edit. Um, I feel like with spring, Sometimes you can just get away with quite a thin knit or a shirt and then a light jacket over the top or a chunky knit. Um, so I've only included one jacket for that reason. And this jacket is uh, the new love of my life. I picked it up from a vintage website that's called Wear Not New. Um, thank you very much to someone who dropped, they slid into my DMs and they're like, Anna, I think you're really gonna love this website. Checked it out, bought a couple of things, absolutely in love. This is a vintage Max Mara wool coat um but i say it's more of a jacket than a coat it is quite thin but it, again it's wool so it does have a slight heaviness to it and i just love how it drapes i feel ridiculously cool when i wear this and i'm not cool so that is saying something and i feel like it basically just goes with every single setup that i've got here and just gives it that sort of edge very very chuffed with this purchase i'll see if i can find some dupes for it down below for you but that is the one coat that i will be incorporating in this 10 by 10. then i'm going to use two pairs of jeans and so one pair are my kate pair they're the wendell wide leg and um, they're slightly cropped sort of jeans but they're just cream i adore this little button this little tiny button is perhaps my favorite part of these whole jeans it's just so so cute and then the other pair that i have are another wear not new vintage purchase oh yeah i am now the proud owner of a pair of vintage levi's 501 jeans how many years have i been looking for these maybe it's three maybe it's four um, but I just bought these on a whim. I was like, they sound like my measurements. Like, let's see. Worst case scenario, I can always return them. And I, they honestly fit me like a glove. It's quite incredible. They're quite a long jean on me. A lot of the other jeans that I wear are cropped, but I love having the option of a slightly longer leg. I feel like it is quite elongating on the leg. Um, I'll show you in the little cutaways later on. Out of interest, these are the 501 style and I've got them in a waist 31, leg 34 and they honestly fit me like a glove. I'm not sure I've ever had a pair of jeans that have fit me so well off the bat. And I love the wash of these too. I don't really have a pair like this in my wardrobe so I feel like they're adding something a bit different. Then I have two chunky knits and the reason why I've gone for two chunky knits this time is as I was mentioning earlier, I feel like in spring, I, that's perhaps my favorite type of weather that you get in the transitional months, like in spring, in autumn, where it's still slightly chilly, so you need to wear like a bit of bulk, but it's warm enough that you don't need a coat. That to me is ultimate. So for those days, I'd go for a chunky knit. I've got two here. This one is from Cezanne. This is their Zach jumper. They no longer sell it, but I'll see if I can find a jeep for you down below. It's just oversized heavy i really like the boat neckline i just find it very flattering and then this one is the acne studios deborah jumper again something that i've had 
for years and it's just slouchy, comfortable, really, really oversized. I just feel that this is the epitome of casual, cool dressing, if you know what I mean. Definitely not a purchase that I regret. And then I have two thinner shirt numbers. I really wanted to give you some more out, out, slightly more formal outfits because I feel like so many of the outfits I put together are just ridiculously casual. And I feel like these are perhaps a little bit more formal, a little bit more dressy than what I usually wear. And actually this is serving as a mini springtime haul video because these are both new. Uh, this one is vintage, it's from Retold Vintage, another one of my favourite Instagrams for vintage clothing. I will link both of them down below for you. And this is a Jeremy Scott 100% silk, just a gorgeous, gorgeous number. It has a slight sheen to it. It just feels kind of a little bit dressier than everything else that I have in my wardrobe. So I think this will be a fun one to play around with, especially with layering. And then this is new from Arquette. And this to me is basically a fancy top and jeans top. Do you know what I mean? You know when you're going out with your friends and you say, oh, what's everyone wearing? And so everyone says, oh, just a fancy top and jeans and boots. This is, this is the top. This is the top that they mean. I just think this is a stunning, stunning piece. It was very kindly gifted. Thanks, Arquette. It's 100% silk and just something that I can't see me ever not wearing. It's such a simple piece. And then to round off the 10 by 10, I have two pairs of shoes. So these are from Topshop. These are just a slight court shoe, really, with a sling back. Um, and it was more the shape of these shoes that I really like for spring because we're not in the weather where you need to wear two pairs of socks and your biggest, chunkiest boots in case it's snowing anymore. Actually, a square toe heel with a little bit more ankle, a little bit more foot out is probably something that's a bit more tolerable, or at least the weather for that is just around the corner. So I more wanted to show you how to style this shape of shoe because I think it's a very chic, classy style of shoe. And then these are from Gani. These are their Cali boots. They're sort of a bit more Western, a bit quirkier, a bit funkier, but because of the color of these, and even though they are a patent leather, the color does make them super wearable and I can very easily wear them with basically every outfit that I'm gonna to put together here for you. So that's your introduction into the pieces that I'm gonna have a play around with today. And these are the 10 outfits I've created. So this is outfit number one, and I've kind of gone for a layered look by putting the Retold Vintage silk shirt under my Acme Studios, like big chunky knit that just always makes me so nice and warm and cozy. And then I'm wearing my Levi's jeans with the Topshop sling backs and the lower they puzzle bag. And this for me, it's, it's like a layered look that feels kind of a bit 70s in a way. And I think that is to do with the collar on the silk shirt. Um, I sort of wanted to do a look that incorporated a bit more of a focus on those because I just think they're kind of cool and I don't really have another shirt that's like that. And this for me is an outfit. Yeah, but it feels a bit fancy. I think the heels always make it feel a little bit fancy for me. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a silhouette that I haven't really played around with before. So something a little bit different. Outfit number two is a little bit fancy and incorporates one of my favorite outfit things to do. And that is to go all white, all cream. A nightmare for a ketchup lover like myself. It feels very Liz Hurley. Um, but I, I don't know, I just always feel super, super smart whenever I do this. Um, obviously the Max Mara coat is a little bit more creamy, a little bit more yellowy, but I feel like that makes the whole thing feel more spring, which is really nice. And then underneath I've got the Cezanne with the Kate wide leg jeans, the Topshop slingbacks. And then I thought instead of doing leopard print on leopard print, it looks quite nice with a contrasting navy leather bag. Um, but yeah, this is definitely more of a spring, you know your photo is gonna be taken, so you wanna look really great type outfit, I'd say. For outfit number three, I feel like the 90s have cooled and they want their outfit formula back. I feel very 90s, I feel like I could go through one of my mum's many photo albums and probably find a photo where she's wearing an outfit very, very similar to this. Um, but this is just the Cezanne chunky knit with the Levi's jeans, the Gani Cali boots, hello, <laughs> and the Lower Bay Barcelona bag in leopard print. Um, and this is definitely one of those ones that I'll crack out on those days where you wouldn't need a coat. Um, this feels kind of casual, quick, like, oh, you're just popping out. Again, one of those ones that you could wear with bands or flat chunky boots, and it would instantly feel way more casual. Throw on the Max Mara jacket over the top, Yes. 
For outfit number four, I'd say this is more of a meetings type outfit for me. And I'm just wearing the Max Mara jacket over the top of the Acme Studios jumper, the Kate jeans, the Ganny boots, and then I've got my lower bay bag here, and this is the leopard print one. For this outfit, I wanted to keep everything very flowing and drapey, so I haven't tucked in this top like I normally would. I just think it looks a little bit cooler, just free flowing. And this way you can really see all the layers and I think it just creates a really nice shape. Um, but yeah, just something I'm very comfortable in. This is definitely an outfit that I would wear often, like multiple times. And honestly, this jacket is just giving me life right now. <laughs> so this is outfit number five and I just absolutely <laughs> adore this outfit. I feel very sort of 60s in this outfit and I just realized that every single item that I'm wearing right now on my body and bar, the shoes and the bag is vintage, which probably explains the whole thing. So I've just paired the retold vintage silk shirt with the Levi's 501s and then this Max Mara jacket and then the Loewe puzzle with the Topshop slingbacks. And I feel like if I take this off, this is a very year round, like going out, out, outfit for me. Um, it's definitely something I would wear in the evening if I was going out with Mark, going out with friends. And the whole thing just feels very spring, feels very cool. But then I feel you could also pair this with like a chunky boot and then it would obviously feel like more of a daytime casual outfit. So I think it's more the shoes that are taking this to the next level, but I, I love it. I adore this outfit so much. So I think this is outfit number six. It's actually the last outfit that I'm filming. I know, what a spoiler, how the sausage is made and all that. I don't film in order. But outfit number six, question mark. Ooh. We're back to my outfit happy place. Um, my second outfit happy place. My first outfit happy place, all black. Second outfit happy place, all white. Um, this definitely feels very 70s, I think. That has something to do with the collar on this silk shirt, but I'm just doing all cream, all pale tones, with a nice little puzzle bag, and then a leopard print accent down below. Um, yeah, this to me is Mark. If, if he was like, oh, let's go on a date to your favorite place that isn't pasta, because if it was pasta and tomato sauce, like I, I do not need to be near that in an all white outfit. But if it was a place that served things that weren't made of tomato, this is what I would wear. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I've lost count a little bit, but I think this is outfit number seven. And this for me is a very casual meetings, weekend, going to London-ish sort of outfit. Um, so underneath I've got the Acme Studios jumper, I've got the Levi's jeans, over the top Max Mara coat with my Ganny boots. And then I thought I would do the lower the leopard print number for this, seeing as I'm not wearing my leopard print shoes. And um, there basically is leopard print in every single one of these outfits. Um, I'm quite warm. We're inside, I'm feeling quite warm in this. So this is definitely a good one for those slightly chillier mornings, that is for sure. Um, but yeah, I like this jumper with everything that I pair it with. Sometimes I wear it tucked in. Sometimes I wear it just straight over the top. A very little multifunction piece, I would say. So this is outfit number eight, and I feel like this is a really good one if you liked outfit number two, um, but you feel a little bit intimidated by wearing all white outfits. Outfit number two, I was wearing the Topshop slingbacks. My suggestion would be wear an all cream outfit, all black outfit, all red outfit, whatever shade it is that you wanna encapsulate the tone of just pair it with a shoe that you feel super, super comfortable with. So for me, these are one of my most worn shoes of the season, along with the End of the Stories chunky boot. I love those. So they're a piece in my wardrobe that I feel very, very comfortable in. They're also very practical. So I don't feel like this outfit is as much of a jump out of my comfort zone as if I was to wear it with heels. Plus, because I'm not wearing those leopard print shoes, it means I get to pair it with a leopard print bag, which is just, oh, I love me this bag. For outfit number nine, this is definitely more of a going out, out <laughs> outfit for me. Um, but I, I love it. This is an outfit that I would have worn like three, four, five years ago and I would still happily, happily wear today. I love the drop waist. I just think that is such a flattering look and ultimately is gonna hide any food baby, like food and wine baby that's gonna be going on. Fabulous. And I think the Levi's 501s give a nice elongated fill on the leg. 
Um, obviously, you're not gonna rock out in spring wearing just this, you're gonna wear a jacket over the top, but I think this will look amazing with the Max Mara jacket over the top. Um, I just liked, like, my happy place, <laughs> more of an all black outfit, kind of, or just a very deep, neutral tones outfit with a bit of leopard print, like, yes, this is my happy place. So this is the final look, this is outfit number 10, and this is definitely a dressy spring look for me. So I've got on the Arquette top, I've got the Kate wide leg jeans, the Topshop slingbacks, and then obviously you're gonna wear it with a coat. I just wanted to show you the top off on its own because I'm just so obsessed with this top. It's something I don't really have much of in my wardrobe. I feel like a lot of tops in my wardrobe are either shirts or they're knitwear. I don't really have blouses, but it definitely feels more like a blouse. But I love the colour palette of this. I love that you get a bit of black, a bit of navy, a bit of cream, a bit of off yellow cream, and then also the leopard print as well. Um, yeah, I just think this feels like a very spring fancy schmancy outfit for me. So those are the 10 outfits. I really, really hope you like them and maybe they gave you a little bit of inspiration for spring, bring it on. I am so, so, so ready for it. I'm very much ready for my capture wardrobe rejig as well. Uh, let me know if you would like to see that. All of these items will be linked up down below as always. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.